Hi, my name's Nathan and welcome to The Daily Dose. We're here in the penguin exhibit to talk about this amazing habitat and all the things that go into keeping the penguins happy and healthy. So we have an amazing operations team here at the zoo that mon monitor and maintain all of the different buildings and different ecosystems on grounds. Um, in this building in particular, we monitor all of the various different parameters, like the obvious ones like temperature and the building pressure to make sure the pressure is always positive and never negative. And if any of those parameters change, we receive alarms through our phones and through our central alarm system at the zoo, which allows us to come in and, and fix those problems before the penguins even know that they're occurring. Um, so that's a very important part about what we do. So we, we do our daily rounds in the building to make sure all the equipment is functioning properly and our preventative maintenance on the equipment to make sure that nothing ever fails and beyond that we uh, we do the monitoring that we spoke about. We monitor this building and the rest of the buildings in the zoo 24-7, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Okay, so behind me is the air handling system for the penguin exhibit. Now we're going to show you the three different types of filters that this air handler uses to supply fresh clean air to our penguin exhibit. Alright, so our first filter is a pre-filter which removes any larger contaminants from the air. So this is similar to your home furnace filter, just a little bit more robust. So this would remove any leaves or any large particulate from the air. After that, <coughs> the air passes through the final filter. Now this filter is much, much finer. Now this will remove um, microns down to two micromoles. So that brings the particulate in the air. This will remove all bacteria from the air and uh, much smaller mold particles and anything like that. Fine particulates from the air. And our final stage of filtration is HEPA filtration. Now this is the same as what's used in a surgery unit in a hospital. HEPA filtration remove 99.997% of all contaminants from the air. So nothing that we're worried about will pass through this filter into the penguin exhibit. The air from the air handling unit is supplied to the penguin beach behind the penguins um, along the beach, along the entire back of each beach. Now that air is pushed through positive pressure through the ductwork and directly at the penguins. And then it all flows from both beaches towards the center of the building where the people are. And it flows towards the ceiling where the exhaust is located. So when people come into Penguin Plunge and you're breathing and, and doing all the things that we do, our air is pushed and exhausted through the ceiling. So it never comes in contact with the birds, which is what we're trying to accomplish. Penguin building is also kept under a positive pressure. Um, this is accomplished through the use of uh, our pressure lock doors, which we have installed. Um, that will ensure that no outdoor air can enter Penguin Plunge that does not come through our filtration system. Um, the fans in the building are also speed controlled to make sure that this positive pressure is always maintained. The supply fans will always supply more air than the exhaust removed, keeping the building positive, which is very important for the penguins. At night, the building is brought down to temperature with the three to five degrees Celsius air, which is brought in along the beach. Um, and that temperature maintains the building due to the mass of concrete um, throughout the hot days. So the temperature within the building will raise naturally during the day when it's hot outside during the summer until um, about 10 degrees Celsius, which is okay for the penguins. And in the evening, that temperature gets brought back down again to that three to five degree range that we're looking for. So in the winter when it's minus 40 outside, we have to heat the incoming air because that's too cold for the penguins. Um, so we'll heat that air to about three to four degrees Celsius and we'll supply it directly to the penguins. So we don't have to cool the air in the winter um, because we live in Canada, which is great. Um, but it's in the summer where we need to use our cooling system and in the winter we use our heating system. 